Rahim. Welcome to the quantity survey course. In this lecture, we will discuss how to calculate the cutting length of circular stirrups. And in our previous lecture, we did the calculation of cutting length of diamond stirrups and triangular stirrups and rectangular stirrups. And we also did the bar bending schedule of one-way slab, beam and the column. In our next lecture, we will do the bar bending schedule of two-way slab. So let's we start our today topic. Here is the column section given. You can see it. These are the longitudinal bars in green color showing in the section. And th this is the concrete cover provided in the column of 40 millimeter. And thus these are the black showing stirrups provided in circular form of 8 millimeter dia and the radius of the column is 450 millimeter from center to the outer side this is 450 millimeter and these are two hook length provided at 135 degree so let's we calculate the cutting length of one circular syrup we given data is all we have radius 450 millimeter stirrups we dia is 8 millimeter and concrete cover is provided 40 millimeter let's we solve the numerical no cutting length of one circular stirrup formula is cutting length is equal to 2 pi r circumference of the circle plus hook length which hook length formula is 10 d minus bends this is the main formula to calculate cutting length of one circular stirrup let's move further in step one first we will calculate the r value smaller r value in to calculate this r l radius value this is radius inner side radius so to calculate this value we will subtract greater r minus concrete cover minus half dia of bar let me know by put the values here you can see we put our r is 450 millimeter i want to show you in the section of the column here you can see sorry this is r radius towards the outer side full radius and the smaller r is from center to the center of this stirrup circular stirrup so to calculate then the concrete cover is 40 millimeter here you can see so let we put the values in formula here we put the values in formula minus half dia bar we are using 8 millimeter dia bar for stirrup so half of it will be 4 and we take half dia bar because we go from the center to center in calculation of the stirrups so here that's why we subtract the half dia bar let me calculate it on the calculator now no 450 minus 40 410 410 minus 4 406 millimeter 406 millimeter is the smaller r value so let's we calculate it cutting length of one bar we will put the values in formula formula for cutting length is 2 pi r plus hook length minus bend for hook length we have formula 10 d and we are providing two hook length in one circular stirrup so that's why we multiply with the two and minus bends so we have two 135 degree band for 135 degree band we have formula 3d so we have two that's why we multiply with the two i want to show you in the section view here you can see these are the two 140 135 degree bands one for this hook and other for this hook so two that's why we 
subtracted to 135 degree bands and 135 degree bands formula is 3d and and hook length formula is 10d that's why we add the length of hook in it so and we know that dia of stirrup is 8 millimeter let me put the value here smaller r value is 406 406 millimeter and dia we have of the st circular stream 8 millimeter here we will put the dia 8 millimeter so let me now calculate it on the calculator here you will see 3 2 into 3.14 pi value is 3.14 6.28 into 406 into 406 this r value 406 so it's 2549 25 49.68 uh, 10 into 8 80 into 2 160 3 into 8 24 into 248 let me now calculate it on the calculator here you will see plus 160 minus 48 so 26.61.2661 one point six eight millimeter is the cutting length required for one circular stirrup so let me calculate it in meter what to convert it into meter just divide it by one thousand so it will give us two point six six two point six 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 meter is the cutting length required for one circular bar oh, sorry one circular stirrup let me now calculate the weight of the stirrup one cutting length of the stirrup weight we, we know that the dia of the stirrup is 8 millimeter so 8 square divided by 162 and into length length we have 2.2 Six six. So finally, let me calculate the weight weight of one circular stirrup. Eight. Oh sorry. Eight square divided by one sixty two. Then multiply it with two point six six. So total weight one point zero five means mean 1.1 we take it 1.1 kg is the weight of one circular stirrup and the cutting length of one circular stirrup is 2.66 meter the column total radius was 450 millimeter and the cover concrete cover was 40 millimeter so okay thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next